Dan and Ann from Black Law and Legal Lies. How are you guys doing? Good. Hey, what's up, Robinson? What's going on, Dan and Ann? And, and what are you guys up to right now? Wait, we have a special guest uh, also with us. Becky has decided to join the party. <laughs> <laughs> hey. What's up, Becky? Uh, is she she uh, normally a uh, recurring guest on your show? <laughs> She's uh, one of our co-hosts, oh, co-hosts actually. Co-hosts. And uh, first we want to say thank you for all the uh, retweets and likes. Uh, we really appreciate it. No problem. No problem. I, I, I was going to ask, Dan, you are a uh, middle school dropout, and Ann, you're a lawyer. How did you guys meet? Was it in court? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know, it was it was that type of setup. It was. So, uh, you want to tell the story? Do you want me to tell Man, it? tell it. Okay, so I had a minor traffic citation. Minor. That I decided to fight. <laughs> So as I'm fighting this minor traffic citation. Notice he keeps saying minor. Yeah, it's, it's clearly minor. minor. It's, <laughs> yeah, wasn't that big yeah, of a deal. I get it. it. Very minor. Yeah. Um, you swerved a little. Doing... <laughs> you weren't going 70 and a 30. A good job. <laughs> so, yeah, I wasn't doing a good job. Um, and happened to be in the courtroom Watching me, uh, it, it's the equivalent of a comic bombing on stage. <laughs> so, Anne actually stepped in and pulled me out of the, the water. So and I, out the fire. And I did not get found guilty of that minor traffic citation. <laughs> you just reached out to him, Anne, and just, and just told him what to say, and, and that you, that's amazing. That's like a guardian angel. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just, have, you know, you know what Superman said, truth, justice, and the American way. Sometimes you just got to slide in like Captain save a and save him. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you guys met Becky, too? Uh, no, Becky <laughs> actually, that, I don't even know if we have the time for that. <laughs> no, that's a whole um, other <laughs> Let's just say she's my fiance. Oh, <laughs> congrats. Congrats, guys. Yes. yes. Cool. And, uh, All but, one big happy family. I, yes. Yes. Uh, Dan, I wanted to say, too, uh, not to take anything away from you, you are, um, what are, you're an IT professional. You are, um, like, um, a music producer type, type of guy, right? Yeah, I kind of do a little bit of everything. I am an IT professional. That's kind of surprising when people hear that I'm an eighth grade dropout. Yeah. And uh, it's like, wow, you're trusted to work on people's uh, <laughs> networks and systems. But um, yeah, I'm a sysadmin, uh, Microsoft, Win, um, Microsoft certified, cool. a bunch of different certifications. And on the side, I do produce music. Was it hard to get it is, certified being um, being a middle school dropout? Uh, no, not really. It's, I mean, you just read the book, memorize the answers, go take the test. It's kind of like a driver's license. You have to understand the basic concepts. Wow. But it's like taking a driver's license test. Those certifications honestly don't mean shit in the IT world. Cool, cool. And, uh, uh, and, you know, but he's also some something like a personal trainer and a photographer yes. and a musician. I saw the photographer. And he thinks he can cook. <laughs> thinks yeah. he can cook. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm surprised I'm alive. <laughs> what's Not the worst like thing he's what, ever cooked? Yeah, Becky, what's... <laughs> 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 he likes to experiment in the kitchen, so a lot of soy And I guess, sauce. and Becky, I guess, being a good wife, like you have to eat it, and do, do you pretend <laughs> like it's good, and then like throw up later? Or like how does that work? Hand it to the dog, <laughs> like you, you put it in your napkin and hand it to the dog. I learned, I learned to act very well. <laughs> <laughs> so this is why Dan thinks he's a good cook. <laughs> <laughs> he would stop. He would stop if you just told him it was. It was a good, but he thinks it's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. It's yeah. the best. Yes. Awesome. Mm. <laughs> Yummy. Oh, he needs to make a dish for the show. 
Oh Lord! <laughs> it's for the show. Like while you're oh. doing the show, like a nice casserole. Oh. Ooh, you should cook while you're doing the show. Like there should be a mic in the kitchen so we can well, hear the, the sizzling think, and stuff. I, I tell you what, I got a better idea. How about next episode? I feed Becky the sausage while we're doing the show. Oh. <laughs> 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 your show uh, your show though is a, is a serious show you guys do um actual like true true crime cases correct so it's it's more we pick a topic and then we bring well i bring the law he brings something like the law <laughs> and becky actually also brings the law she brings the law so yeah it's it's basically we like to call it Edutainment. You remember Schoolhouse Rock, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I have a CD. Yes. Of Schoolhouse so, Rock songs. So we we are the law podcast, a la Schoolhouse Rock. You know, you <laughs> laugh, you cry, <clears throat> but you learn. I like that. So that's up. And what is the legal lies portion of it? Is it is it? Do you guys cover like lawyers lying to get people off? Like what is that's that part of the title entail. I'll take this. Um, <laughs> the legal lie part is any legal advice given by me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so hold on. So, so you know, I want a legal lie. So, Be want... so Becky and Ann are both like, you're in law, both of you, obviously. And is yeah. Becky is as well. Uh, Actually, no, I, I am not in law. Um, I am uh, basically, I guess you could say a, a unlicensed lawyer. <laughs> um, no, wait, don't say that, because you'll go to jail. Don't say that. <laughs> a freelance lawyer. Don't say that. <laughs> law without a license it's like jail time. Don't like being a street that. pharmacist. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like street corner pharmaceutical <laughs> representative. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I I am a human resources professional, so I deal with a lot of employment law. You do, um, yes. In my, you know, day-to-day -day stuff. So mm. that's where my expertise is. That's lies. where her legal knowledge comes in. Yes. And, of course, I am a lawyer, and Daniel, Dan is something like a lawyer. That's I've, I've awesome. Done time. <laughs> you you under you have an understanding of the law. He knows how. Yes. <laughs> so what is uh, Rob was gonna ask? Understanding of the way the law operates. <laughs> so uh, Dan, Rob was gonna ask you. Um, could you tell a legal a legal lie? Was that what it was? Or could you give us some advice on how to get out of? Uh, I don't know. What did I do? What did I do wrong? We, 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 we stole from the uh, the, uh, the the sports company. The, yeah, I stole I stole there. softballs. How can Dan get me out yeah, of this? Yeah, they blocked yeah. us on you. <laughs> yeah, on Facebook. We're being sued by a softball making company because we stole their softballs. How do we get out of that, Dan? <laughs> okay, well, first, um, what we're gonna are, were these softballs on an end cap? Yes. Okay, so what we like to call that is. It's called a an attractive nuisance. Oh, and okay. <laughs> it that it is an attractive nuisance. You cannot expect people not to pick up these softballs and walk out of the store with them. I mean, if you don't want people to pick up the softballs and walk out the store with yeah, them, hide them. It, don't put yeah, them out exactly. right there. Yeah. I like Dan. That's good. I think Dan just got us off the hook there. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, goodness. Y'all are too funny. Y'all really are. I was going to ask you too, Anne. You've never lost a case, correct? Oh, wow. Well. Absolutely. You're I've the undefeated lawyer. I like wow. it. And uh, I, I was going to ask am, how that I, works. I like, am undefeated. Do you ever like turn someone away? Like I can't, I can't represent you. Like do you ever get somebody come to you that you just you're like I can't. It's like I can't polish a turd. <laughs> or you're too far gone. Right. Quite often, very, actually, very often. I'm my specialty is family law. So what I get a lot of is. Divorce, child support, child custody. Oh, wow. 
so a lot of times I say I can't do that. There's no way I'm touching this yeah. because this is going to get a shit ton complicated very quickly. It's, it's actually for my own preservation. You know, I have to maintain, I have to maintain my win streak. So yes. it's like, if yeah. I ain't winning it, I ain't doing it. Goodbye. Did they actually, like, um, look at that? Like, when you go into court, like, how many cases you won or lost? Like, is that something not, they keep track of? Not, there, there is a way that you can see what somebody has done. That There's a tracker, but... I don't know if a lot of if if you're doing opposition research, you can definitely find out what a lawyer's reputation is in the community, and you can you know just word them out because you know lawyers yeah. are just like grandmas; they know everything, you know, and they talk about everything amongst themselves. <laughs> so the grapevine is strong with them. That's it. <laughs> Whenever you go to court with a lawyer, you realize that lawyer is friends with the judge. That lawyer is friends with the other lawyer. They're all they're all just having side conversations while you're sitting there sweating. Like <laughs> exactly right, and that that is exactly right. So it is a situation where if one lawyer knows something about you, eventually they all will. Yeah, a lot of yeah. gossiping. So, yeah. yeah, I was yeah. gonna say too. Um, Oh, I, 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 am not gonna say his name, but there's a lawyer around this area. I don't know if he's still, still practicing. Um, but supposedly he was gonna be a judge, but they couldn't, they couldn't let him be a judge because he was drunk driving and killed somebody. So he was only allowed to practice law. I don't know if you've ever heard any dirt on other lawyers like that. Actually, you do, you, you hear. Lots of things like lawyers getting caught up in uh, sex trafficking. Oh, wow. Wow. What? You know, that's like a, what? Yeah, that's, that's a that's thing. Like, that's lawyers like a, that's are just like known a, for sex trafficking. It's like, a, <laughs> like, yeah. it's like a straight up Saul Goodman <laughs> you know, type. It's like yeah. you know, Saul Goodman. We have we have several uh, lawyers in this area that were on that whole Ashley Madison list. And wow. We also had oh you know God. that DC Madam situation they have lawyers are from around here in her book so yeah wow i remember when uh when i was getting divorced my buddy um at work was like bro i've sold weed to your lawyer like that Dude, the guy right down the <laughs> right down the street the practice from here there's a guy there i he like got he used to be a judge up in Tom's River. Yeah. He got caught smoking pot in the chambers and his judge Lawyers know at a party. That's all I know. That's all Man, I know. Look, it's the truth. You honestly a lot of lawyers self medicate. You know, being a lawyer is a very stressful thing. So <laughs> they're like raging alcoholics. Pill poppers, <laughs> weed heads. So, and I'm none of those things. Okay, yeah, that's that's good to hear. I was gonna say, like sometimes you, yeah, I don't, I don't the people do anything, you represent, they might be hooking you up. <laughs> What's that, Dan? That is a legal lie. She's an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I, I I read that she's a hoarder. Is that correct? Wait, where did that come from? I saw it on the website on your bio. Good lord, my bio says I'm a hoarder. I think so. Whore. Dur. Why do you ever gotta be a whore? Dur. You were the whore. Dur. Whatever. Dur. Yes, she collects everything. She does not throw anything out. That's untrue. I'm a recycler. Thank you. <laughs> Dan, what's like something that she should have thrown out years ago that she's hold on to? Him! Him! <laughs> <laughs> him. <laughs> she has a circa 1993 Chia Pet that is still, <laughs> still in the room! It has not been opened. Oh, it's never open. Not even open. Have, you like, gotta grow that on it. <laughs> It'll still grow. It'll still grow. Leave <laughs> my chia pet. Leave my chia pet, man. Why? Why did you never attempt yeah. to grow your chia pet? You gotta grow that. Because it's Mickey Mouse's head, and I'm kind of <laughs> obsessed with Mickey Mouse. Don't judge me. 
No. It's true. A lot of people are. They, they I've seen uh, Mickey Mouse or Disney has an, a whole new line of everything out right now, like loofahs and and uh, like makeup and like I'm like who the who the fuck would pay for this? Now I know Ann will pay for all that. <laughs> 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 Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but, oh. but you know, he's saying all that shit, but he bought it for me. Dan bought it for you? Yes. I, where did I get a circa 1993? You know how old I was in 1993? Shut up, man. <laughs> you just like, you were 11 years old and we're like, you, we're going to do a podcast together someday. Yeah. Here's his chia pet. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, man. <laughs> what is y'all been... are too y'all are too crazy. You guys are <laughs> crazy too. Me. I want to ask, what's been your favorite episode of your show that you guys have done together so far? Hmm, that might just be. I like the current one. Like my okay. I guess well, we're gonna have different answers. Okay. okay, you go first. I'm saying the current one is really a good one for me i like that one because we had so many because normally it's just dan and becky and myself but on this episode we had like people from the the potter family you know so many people actually jumped in and helped out on this this episode so i think that's going to be my favorite that's cool my favorite would be an episode titled Oh Lord Sodomy and Gamora. <laughs> Here he goes. No, I like it already. <laughs> 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 and I think it's kind of self explanatory, but what we talked about that episode was um what was it, the anti sodomy laws. laws. Right. And it was a pretty cool episode. Uh, Becky learned a whole lot. <laughs> she did not, prior to that episode, she did not know what a rusty trombone was. <laughs> the rusty trombone. Oh. <laughs> the trombone. Actually, she didn't know what any of the terminology was. No, she no, didn't. You saw on the- what did you know? What did you know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now that's how you win a case. Yeah. <laughs> hired. We just hired you. Yeah. For any any problems we ever have, you're gonna be representing us. Just shut a lot of down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know I have I have my co-counsel with me at all times, so that's awesome. Wow. I love it. I love it. Um, I was gonna ask you too. What's the craziest law you've heard? Because I think it's what? Where is it? Um, is it Colorado or Montana? One one of those states around there. Like porn is illegal. Like, what's been the and like? I think in one of the southern states, like you're not allowed to be in the bathtub with a goat. Like what's a crazy? There's a lot of uh, outdated. A lot of outdated. There, there's laws like, like laws that. where like you can't park a horse in a certain spot yeah, or something like, like that. What's the craziest <laughs> one that we might not know of? Hey. Right, like you can't you can't take a newspaper into the toilet. Just stupid stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 You can't cut your hair on a certain day. No, you I, can't. What I, the one the one that I well, Dan, tell him. Tell him In about Colorado. Colorado. Uh, there is a law now. Don't quote me. This may be a legal lie, but <laughs> I do believe this is true. You guys can uh, Google it. That on a certain day of the week, it is illegal for either to cut your hair or for your wife to cut her hair one or the other wow the town i'm from up north um it's 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 only a couple towns in jersey has this law called the blue law if you're caught mowing your lawn on a sunday you can get a ticket really yeah oh, yeah it's a really it's a weird town um also like it was weird too like um certain amount of like it was only allowed one fast food chain in the town they had <laughs> all these law. weird laws yeah. one fast food chain we had burger king <laughs> and that was it because yeah. yeah no one no other one was allowed to ever open there <laughs> oh, another one i heard is that you, uh women couldn't buy pantyhose on sundays 
Like, wow. Why would you want to restrict that? Right? What if you need it? What if your what if your hose rips right before church? <laughs> right. <laughs> well, you better get some get some Vaseline and grease yourself up real good. I mean, people go to church on Sunday. Like, yeah. Seriously, why would you restrict that on that day? I mean, uh, you know, a pair of legs. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. Yeah. I think one of one of my my what would be deemed crazy for me are all the can't buy liquor on Sunday. Oh. <laughs> those are those are like crazy to me. Mm-hmm. We got those here. In... All these dry yeah, really? counties. We have laws like that. Yeah, yeah. we have. Yeah. And then after all, ten o'clock, all these dry counties, you can't buy alcohol at yes. all in those counties. Like yeah. those are crazy to me. I'm, I don't understand. It's well, like some of that some Mormon <laughs> stuff from really. They, yeah, when from they. Like, I, I forgot that. West. Yeah, you're right. After 10 o'clock, we can't buy... Is it yep. liquor? Yeah, it's liquor, right? Liquor. It's hard yes. liquor. You can buy beer, but you can't buy liquor. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know what? In in a lot of places, a lot of counties in Texas are dry counties. You can't buy alcohol, period. At all, yeah. Wow. I was going to say, too, in I know Texas. a couple of my buddies that were in the military said, like, Iraq is a dry country. Yeah. You can't right. even... Yeah. Yeah. It didn't used to be though. It was until the it was I think after they got rid of Hussein. Yeah. And then there was a different like a a new guy got in. Wow. And he just he basically just imposed like the Sharia. Yeah. Kind of like thing with the liquor. Well, yeah. No. That's <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, they, explanation they of things. The thing with the thing in the liquor. They can't have liquor at all. It's like no, no. It's like it's. I heard turkeys yeah. like that too. Like, I think Turkey's a completely dry country. Like, I think a lot of Americans have been in prison over there. Because yeah, of well, the, the the quickest way to get around that is to mail a package to some GI in Afghanistan. I've done it several times. Wait, as your co-counsel. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to get me out of this, Dan? I just mailed, uh, yeah. I mailed tequila to my buddy in Iraq. Yeah, like, yeah, we may or may have done that several times. <laughs> allegedly. You know, alleged, allegedly. Yeah, you have to go to, like, if you're in the Middle East, you have to go to Bahrain or, or no, not Bahrain. Uh, Beirut? <laughs> no, no. um What's Bahrain? <laughs> you have to go to, like, Lebanon. I think uh, out of the country, Tangier, or like there's a couple spots where you can drink. <laughs> wow, like, there's <laughs> why do you know these? <laughs> yeah, why do you know that? <laughs> Slambo was a smuggler, we don't even know. Slambo used to smuggle absinthe all over the Middle East, guys. Like, how do you know the exact places where you can and cannot drink alcohol? <laughs> that's, that's classified information. I can't share that. He's another street lawyer. See, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. He's something like a lawyer. That's yeah, <laughs> he is. That's I feel like keep... Dan and Slambo should compete on who has the better legal lie. I think lie. they should combine and be Dambo. <laughs> Dambo. <laughs> it's like a super. Yeah, it is. Team. It's like a super saiyan. Guys, we have to wrap this up, uh, but it's been a blast talking to you guys. It's oh, been fun. Absolutely. Thank y'all so much for having us on. Thanks, Thank, guys. Thanks for coming on, and where can everybody find you guys? Well, you can follow us uh, on Twitter at uh, Black Law Podcast, and you, you can, can follow me at I Tell Legal Lies. And you can but also follow Dan me does that. at exactly. She <laughs> stole my name. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, whatever. <laughs> I am Dan on Drugs, aka the dude to send nudes. <laughs> I feel like that whole thing is illegal. Now I want to know what drugs you're on, man. I, I am sorry. I'm going to need a lawyer soon. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. You guys are amazing. Yes, thank you. Tell y'all, thanks so much thank for having me. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. You too. Have a good one. Stay weird. And we will. We're the weirdest. <laughs> All right. Later. We that will was, be that back, was guys. really cool. So a lot of chemistry fun. with those. Yeah. Those guys. That was awesome. So great. All right.